Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some key updates in the global coal market for October 25th, 2024. There's been a lot of movement across different regions, each driven by a mix of demand, supply shifts, and even weather conditions. So, let's break down what's been happening and what it could mean going forward. Starting off with Europe. Thermal coal prices here saw a notable rise last week, moving past the $121 per ton mark. This spike wasn't just random. Norway's unexpected cut in gas supplies led to an increase in gas prices, which in turn boosted coal demand. With colder-than-expected weather forecasts for November, the market is bracing for sustained demand, especially as gas alternatives get pricey. Stocks at major ports like Amsterdam-Rotterdam-Antwerp also went up by 0.34 million tons, signaling that Europe might be gearing up for a chilly season with a higher reliance on coal. Now on to South Africa. Here we're seeing strong demand for high calorific coal, particularly from India. Prices for South African coal rose above $113 per ton. And post Diwali, we expect demand to rise even more as Indian industries ramp up their activity. Indian buyers find South African coal a good fit for power generation, so the market there seems solid for now. Shifting over to China, there's a different story. Chinese coal prices dropped slightly, influenced by a mix of high domestic production and slower demand from key sectors like cement and chemicals. With enough supply in the market, China's largest coal supplier, Shenhua, recently cut prices. Buyers are holding off on new purchases, hoping prices will dip further. This could mean we'll see stable or slightly lower prices through winter if demand remains moderate. Then there's Indonesia. Indonesian coal markets are facing some challenges, mainly from high stock levels in China and limited new orders. With 5,900 GAR prices just under $94 per ton, demand hasn't been too strong. High stockpiles at Chinese ports are leading buyers to take a wait-and-see approach, and Indonesian exporters are looking to other Southeast Asian markets to make up for the slack. Finally, in Australia, coal prices are feeling the impact of Japan's plan to restart three nuclear power plants, set for November and December. This change could decrease Japan's reliance on coal power, especially as the plants bring an additional 2.75 gigawatts of capacity online. The weak demand from Japan, along with lower demand from Chinese steelmakers, has pushed Australian high-calorific coal prices below $143 per tonne. Meanwhile, metallurgical coal prices have dropped due to weak steel production and paper market trends in China. In short, while we're seeing some regional price changes, major shifts in the global coal market don't look likely at this time. The fundamentals seem stable, with seasonal demand shifts and supply adjustments balancing each other out. If you're following the energy market, keep an eye on weather patterns, supply chain changes, and evolving industry demands, as these factors will shape coal's role in the months ahead. All right, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe for more updates on the energy sector, and as always, drop your thoughts or questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.